Absolutely, I expect everybody in my company to um, model you know, great safety habits. Uh, you lead by example, and that's anybody in our company. So everybody's watching, everybody sees, and especially from the top down when it comes uh, to my role to uh, all supervisors and managers within our company, you gotta lead, lead by example, because everybody's gonna look at you, and if you're doing things right, you're, the employees watching you are gonna, are gonna follow your lead. So, but that goes down to, to a guy that's a, a laborer within the company just packing garbage. He needs to be safe as well, um, everybody has a responsibility to, to lead by example. Our safety policies and our requirements are um, you know, expressed to our employees through safety meetings, which we have once a month. Uh, we have different topics. Fall protection is always, always addressed uh, on what needs to be done, how we want it worn, anchors installed. Um, and then also we do a safety shutdown once a year where we, a whole safety day, companies here, um, we have about six different stations and different safety professionals come in and fall protection is always a big part of that in a whole station just to how to properly use it and, and what's the reasonings behind using it. Um, and so we really put a lot of time and money into ensuring our guys really know it. It's not just teaching them when they're, when they're hired and doing our new hire training, safety training with them. Uh, it goes you know, well beyond that. It's you want to do the follow-up training to ensure that the guys really understand it and aren't just nodding their head saying, yeah, I got it, I'm ready to go to work, I want a paycheck. No, it's, it's serious in our company and it's the culture that we were talking about is we want everybody to be safe and we truly, truly feel that way. And so following up training with those employees are very, very important to us. Supervisors are very important in that they're, they're thinking about how to get the job done uh, efficiently, making sure the crews have everything that they need. But without focus on safety, then all of that planning can really be for nothing. So they, they do a really good job when they come up to the site and that's the first thing they're looking for is looking at the crew, making sure that everything is as safe as it can be. And that also helps us to, to really uh, narrow that gap between what they've been trained to do and what they're actually doing. So the supervisors are the ones that can see that. So it's very key for the supervisors to be looking for safety each time they go to a job site. And if they see anything that's not uh, where we want it to be uh, for company standards and so forth, um, that they have that communication right away. And they talk about how things can be improved and be better uh, for that crew to be safe. So, uh, you know, supervisors, I can't say enough about them and what a good job that they're doing, but it's critical um, that they are fully engaged in the safety of their crews and also, too, thinking about um, the customer as well, and uh, also a uh, big picture for uh, the crew's families.